All right, everyone, let's use ChatGPT to help us come up with titles or articles to gain topical authority for any type of site. I was using ChatGPT just yesterday to help me come up with some topic ideas for a client site, and I thought this would be a really good video. I was just playing around a little bit, asking it what topical authority on a website was, and it had a pretty in-depth answer. They talked about depth of content, backlinks, but for this particular video, we're going to be talking about depth of content. Now, to cover a topic in its entirety, I feel it's almost impossible because each topic truly is really, really big. And we could probably go on for a lifetime creating titles and topics. Now you can log into ChatGPT and you can use the free version or you can use the paid version. Now for this video, I use the paid version. And after I got it to give me the definition of what it thought topical authority was, specifically talk about depth of content and to help me come up with titles for a website. Now, if you have a brand new website, the sky is the limit. You can get Chat. GPT to come up with all of your titles that are topically related to the subject matter. But if you're working with a site that already has content on it, you can also feed ChatGPT all of the titles you've already come up with or already written about, and it will compare and weed out so that you're not duplicating content or titles or topics. So it's actually a really cool tool to use for this assignment. Now for topical authority, I asked it to give me examples for tree services and to come up with content that should be on a tree service website. And what it did was talk about the services that should be mentioned. It talked about safety protocols that you can talk about. It talked about how you can use case studies or what you can talk about on a case study for a tree site. It talks about tree care tips. So it's almost like the basis of your actual website is what it was giving me. But if you drill in and ask more questions, it even gave me ideas for videos and infographics. It's pretty robust when you ask it questions. But what I was looking for is not like what would be on the overall website, but what can I write about topically to go on a tree service site that would help gain topical authority for that site? So what I'm asking it to do is, can you create 20 article titles that take into consideration your last answers? It answered as to what could be on the site or what should be on the site. So I'm saying take that into consideration and then give me 20 titles that would be on this website. And it gave some really nice titles. It's talking about the ultimate guide to seasonal tree care tips, pruning 101, emergency tree situations, what to do after a storm, safety protocols uh, that tree experts have to follow, a closer look at local trees. So it gives you basic titles. Now you can get it to keep going or you can even ask it to even drill in a little bit more to your subject matter. So for instance, if I was working with a tree company in Central Texas or Austin, what would those titles look like? Or what could I talk about in Austin? Things like revitalizing Zilker Park's tree canopy. Zilker Park is a park here in Austin with an exceptional tree canopy. So titles are right on as to what I can talk about in Austin regarding trees. It talks about different landmarks. In Austin, it talks about the majestic live oaks of Austin, which is a big deal here in Austin for tree service. It talks about the soil type of Austin and different titles that I can come up with. You can continue to ask it questions. For instance, I said, let's try to do a topical map for a tree service website. And it said, sure. And what it is doing is coming up with URLs and where the subtopics would be under which categories or which main topics. So it has a main topic of tree diseases and pests, and then it comes up with your subtopics, which are items that you can talk about. Now, I don't agree with how it structured the URL, so be careful with that, but it does give you ideas on main categories or main topics. And then a lot of subtopics that a lot, of, a lot of us leave off of the table when we're producing websites. A lot of times we'll leave out 
common tree diseases or treatment options or how to prevent pests. We don't think about everything surrounding that topic. So I think AI is really good for this to help us open up the box or the window on what we can talk about. And like I said, if you have a website that's already produced hundreds of pieces of content, you can feed AI the list and it will then compare it against the list it's giving you or tell you where your topical gaps are and suggest titles to fill them across the site. If you wanted to take this a step further, you can even feed all of your competitors' titles into here, and it will compare it against your titles to tell you what your competitors wrote about that you have not written about and tell you exactly where your topical gaps are when compared to your competitors. I actually just did that for a client. I've had for years. I thought that there was nothing I could possibly cover topically, but when I compared it against four or five different competitor sites, I realized there was a lot more we could talk about that was topically related and helped us fill in a pretty big topical gap. So with ChatGPT or AI, the sky is the limit. You just want to be careful with how you ask the questions and then how it's answering your questions because what you need to do is train ChatGPT. So for instance, when it gave me URL suggestions that I didn't like, what I could then follow up with, with is to either take those suggestions out or follow up with a question so that it understands how I like to formulate the URLs and then it would formulate how I would prefer it. So if you're planning a website, I think ChatGPT is a great tool to help make sure you're covering your topic extensively. And if you already have a website and you're looking for your topical gaps against your competitors or just looking for help in what titles you could even write about, ChatGPT really helps with this. Now, it gave you titles or ideas. You can then ask it to give you writer's notes for each title so that you're able to hand it off to your writer. But the next step that I actually do is take a look at the titles, what the subject matter is, and then I look to see if there's traffic or look to see if there's a way I need to rewrite the title to pick up a particular keyword that I'm trying to gain. For me, ChatGPT has been a lifesaver in making some of the processes in SEO lightning fast. It used to take my team a couple of days to give me 20 to 30 or 40 title articles that was well researched, but ChatGPT is doing it within seconds. Comment below how you're using ChatGPT to help you with your SEO.